So I was thinking a little bit about reflecting back into what in, in, got me wanting to be into the youth group. Some of it was a calling that came from um, our, our youth director at the time that needed men to sign up because had a lot of ladies who were signed up and needed men who could connect. I thought about it a little bit because um, I'd always thought about being a teacher would be fun. So this gave me a sort of a slight view into getting into there. I sort of warned it a lot of it because I go, well, if I'm dropping my kids off and I'm picking them up, I can just stick around. But at the same time, it's like maybe I'm showing to my kids um, the, uh, the benefit and how much I believed into it. I was definitely pulled in more than uh, wanted to go in. I was like, I had to do something after chirp and I didn't know what it was. And I was like, eh, I'm not really sure. And I went to, with me, come yeah, with me. I went, so I was like, eh, lesser of so many evils, but it wound out that I enjoyed it. Like not the first 15 minutes where I was all paranoid, but after that, I liked it. You know, you started to get like where you could uh, be with the kids and you certainly get a lot more out of it than you put in. Yeah. I mean, we've been doing it for roughly 16, 17 years. And my kids are now out of middle school after that many years. Yeah, they have. Uh, you know, graduated, graduated. Slow, finally made it to high school. Yeah, yeah, slow learners, slow learners. Uh, but no, we. Um, I think it was definitely a blessing and nothing that I felt that we were trained for. Like you just, you, right. you cared for them and you got to do it. And it sort of, I don't know, it was definitely, you realize the importance, the more you do it, the, the, how you're actually working with kids and it's definitely a I think a very important role certainly um, so I I think it's been 12 or 13 years for me I'm not sure exactly uh, I started when my two kids were in the you know the younger youth group and um, I was dropping them off and picking them up and so I just stuck around and I was like well I you know I can do some of this I don't know everything but found out you don't really need to know all the details and you just share your faith and for me that was you know fulfilling I guess um, it was kind of a way to show my kids that I do care I know that this is important and you know I want you to pay attention you know um, the kids my kids didn't want me to be their group leader you know they, but they didn't mind me being there so um, you yeah, know that worked out pretty good but but you didn't need any special skill set. No. You need right. you needed to care and you needed to show up, yeah. right? Like yeah. and then be willing to spend some time. I think. Yeah, I, I, and you guys both mentioned it. It's like I got so much more out of it, and it is just the involvement with the kids. Um, I mean, the kids the kids would be very much on one on one, just talking to you, and and you, just the communication there was just was phenomenal. And you don't need to know all the answers. You know, if there's a question that comes up. And you don't know the answer, you say, hey, I'll get back to you. I'll go and check with people and I'll have an answer for you next week, if not later on that night. Or well, I always say it's a mystery. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's one of the mysteries. Ah, it's a mystery, yeah. But, okay, if you wanted to come, do you think that, I mean, what's the type of guy that can be a youth leader? You know, small group leader. No special skill, No. right? I, I mean, I'm just saying. You have, to, they have to, you have to look at it like an opportunity. You get to see, you you know, you can't change if you're not involved. Right. And I would hate to send these kids out in the world without our faith. You know, and this is a great place to add to it. Not that we are the number one uh, educators, but it helps and it adds. And it's another point of view and the kids get to see it. The biggest thing that, that benefits, especially with men um, helping out, it's... Um, it's in, because a lot of times men are sort of guarded and we're not so easy to show outwardly our faith, but yet we still live our faith that way. So I think it's important that, that to know that put into that situation, yeah, it's easy to, to, to put that in. I think about a lot of our prior um, um, people that have helped out in, in youth or small group leaders and things and uh, that, that have just set it on fire and you would never think that they would, you know, they'd come in scared to death and and uh, and yet they it still um, really did a great job. I think it's also one of the other benefits that we had was just the friendships that we've had over the years with the, with the other small group leaders and the youth directors and, and the high school kids that come to help out, which is just inspirational on how they bring, in, bring that part of it to us. Yeah. 
you know, speaking of things that we get out of it, I mean, I, I've been amazed so many times by comments or insights from the kids about the topic of the night. You know, it's like, where did that come from? It's like, I wouldn't even have thought of saying that, you know? And it's like, it's just amazing. And it, it kind of rejuvenates my faith to hear, you know, the young kids coming up with things like this and their insights and their um, passion for it, you know, especially like the, the teenagers that help out with the younger kids, yeah. you know, they're they're on fire. Yeah. They're ready to go. And right, and Catholic's help. not an hour a week. It's how they live in their right. life. So right. yeah, no, I think that's very positive.